Let's talk about some popular gradient boosting libraries. Here we will see XGBoost, LightGBM, and CatBoost. The full details of these algorithms are out of the scope of this class, but I will try to give you some insights. And I will always leave the link for the papers. Let's start with XGBoost. XGBoost stands for Extreme Gradient Boosting. This algorithm came out in 2016, and here is the paper for that. This algorithm is quite popular, and it is really strong for tabular datasets. And it is also known for winning many Kaggle competitions. Let's talk about some of the contributions of this paper. There are many more contributions coming from this, but I will just give you three of them here. The first one is called the Approximate Greedy Algorithm. So this is an efficient way to select our split conditions. I will explain this in the next slide. The second one is about the reformulation of the split conditions and the gains. In this one, they also consider some type of weights in the leaves. And the last one is about the performance improvements. They made a bunch of improvements in terms of the runtime performance, such as utilizing parallel blocks, cache aware access, and out of core competition. And as I said, be sure to read the paper for full details. Let's talk about this approximate greedy algorithm. If you remember when we first introduced decision trees, we said that when we are selecting these split conditions with the optimum ones, we consider all possible values. We can call this a greedy algorithm. Here with this approximate greedy algorithm, we will only consider quantiles as our threshold candidates. So here's an example. Let's assume we have this feature x1, and we try to decide how to make a split here. We first order these data points, then we take the quantiles. Here we have the 0 0.25, 0 0.5, and 0 0.75 quantiles here, so three quantiles. And overall, we use these points that correspond to these quantiles as our threshold candidates. And in practice, we will have more. We will have more than three. And overall, this library also uses extra optimization on this to make this in parallel. Let's also talk about the interface. The Extreme interface is really easy to use. We will just import this classifier or the regressor. Let's talk about some of the default parameters in this interface. We have the maximum depth, learning rate, number of estimators, and the objective. For the classifier, you can also change this object objective to multi-class classification. And there are many more other parameters here for you to play with. Overall, this is a really good method for tabular datasets. I strongly recommend that you give this a try for your final project. 